we got our dirty dogs up next for you guys that are listening for your first time what are the dirty dogs these are 10 point underdogs cd and i take two of them every single week one each we do a little draft okay this week cd gets the first pick because he hit the bigger stinkier underdog last week he took hawaii plus 440 that is smelly smelly to my louisville plus 325 on the year we found 10 out of our 40 games we've put on our list have smacked one straight up as 10 point underdogs you're looking at 25 percent clip if you were to follow our, our our you know bets just take them straight money line which i don't recommend that you do you know these are pretty hail marys and if you do i mean definitely lower your unit size but you'd be up 9.3 units just to uh kind of validate that yeah we've been we've been hitting some stinky ones all right this is if your team is on this list you're a team that's or sorry, I guess if you're a team that is playing a team on this list, you are in trouble. So with that being said, let's get into it. And you've got the first pick over here. What are we going with? Yeah, this one, speak, speaking of smelling, my team's going to be plus 24-point underdogs. Give me Mississippi State to go on the road in Neyland, plus 1,200. I've been talking about Tennessee as a team that, to me, has been severely overrated all year or really of recent in that top 10 there. Mississippi State and Michael Van Buren, that kid is a game. We've talked about him a couple times. You bet on them last week, and that cashed after a slow start against UMass. They're talented, and I think this team, in terms of what they can do offensively, can put Tennessee in problems where if they go down early, they can actually take advantage and beat Tennessee. We've seen Tennessee slow start after slow start after slow start. Going back to Oklahoma, right, a couple weeks, and Oklahoma did not have the offense to take advantage of that Arkansas they did and they they kind of did and their quarterback even got hurt and they still went down and won the football game Florida just did not get going right they could not take advantage Alabama could not take advantage and Kentucky could not either I do think this is the week potentially I love the plus 1200 juice there and all that kind of all that kind of value yeah Let's get Jeff Lebby's first conference win. Let's really send Tennessee back down a notch and kind of wide, open things wide open in the SEC after this week because you've got Georgia and Ole Miss playing because you've got Alabama and LSU playing. There could be a lot of shakeup at the top of the SEC this week. I think Tennessee goes down. That would be nuts. That would be a crazy – that would be the smelliest dirty dog to date. And it can happen. I think Tennessee would have to not commit to running the football. Yes. Right, it, it would it would have to be one of those situations where Mississippi State gets up early, and Tennessee sort of hits the panic button, and Nico tries to do too much, and maybe they force a couple turnovers, which haven't done a great job. They're still they're actually winning the turnover margin uh, this year. Actually, scratch that minus one on turnover margin this year, which on the record you would have been like, oh well, you would have thought it might be worse. But yeah, Van Buren's been absolutely unreal since he's entered the lineup. I love him a lot, and. Uh, Kelly Kari being healthy, Kevin Coleman looking good, Johnny Daniels, their running game hasn't looked crazy bad these last couple of weeks. So, And they kind of shut down Texas A&M's run game for the most part when they played against each other a couple of weeks ago. So not crazy. Team that's playing better football week to week. I'm going to go over Georgia Tech plus 380. Already talked about them. Yeah, I kind of like it. You know, and This is very dependent on Haynes King playing. But if you're going to give me that plus 380, the reason that's that plus 380 is because Haynes King, it, it's very – very, very questionable, right? I, I, I'm not sure the reports look great right now for Haynes King in order to in order to play, at least last week, the updates that I saw a couple days ago. But they are coming off of a bye week. For all the reasons that we talked about before, Georgia Tech plus 380, I think they're a better coached team. They get them at home, and Miami's gotten off the slow starts. And if Georgia Tech gets up, and Tyler Santucci, who's done a really good job with Georgia Tech's defense this year, finds a way create some turnovers from Cam Ward and eliminates his hero ball in the fourth quarter. I think Georgia Tech can win this football game. That's awesome. That would be awesome. And talk about shaking up the ACC. That would do that as well. My next one here, going to the Big Ten here, going back to University Park there in State College. Give me Washington to go on the road and beat Penn State. That right now is a 13.5 point line. It is plus 425 on the money line, Four. Washington there. Here's the reasons why I like it, right? Washington has struggled in games where teams have run the football on them, right? And Penn State has struggled to run the football all year long. I do wonder if there's some kind of hangover effect for Penn State in terms of a slow start. 
And honestly, this Washington team, they're kind of dangerous, man. They've been giving teams problems, right? If they can take care of the football, they can go on the road here and get a win. Will Rogers, good football player. Jonah Coleman's a very good football player. They also do some fun stuff with Demon Williams there as the backup quarterback in terms of getting him some playing time in certain packages there. But yeah, to Jonah Coleman special and Denzel Boston and Jeremiah Hunter and Giles Jack, guys like that could take advantage of Penn State's secondary. I like it for Washington here. Don't feel great about it, but in terms of the board here, plus 425, felt like it was pretty good value. Why not? Jed Fish, signature win in the Big Ten. Yeah, not a ton of other you know, games that I really like on the board. I, I think that's a good one, but wasn't the one that I was thinking of. I'm going to get a little bit smellier. We're going to stick in the state of Washington. We're going to go to Pullman, a ranked Washington State team. Who are they playing? Uh, just a Utah State team that, <laughs> with freaking Spencer Petras, has had an electrifying passing game so far this season, a top-10 passing offense. With, I, if you want to know how bad Brian Ferentz is, like, that's crazy. I thought Spencer Peters was going to stink in this offense. I thought Jalen Royals was going to suck butt. But look, both Washington State and Utah State have had garbage defenses. The over under for this game is like 69 and a half, 70 points. And you're going to tell me that Utah State, you get them in a shootout for plus 850? I don't think it's crazy that Utah State could actually win this football game and Washington State's college football playoff hopes get completely shattered. I do like John Mateer. We love Jake Dicker on his show. By the way, hand up. Probably one of the first people that was on him early, you know, was this show right here. But I do think that Utah State, given how explosive they are on their offense, there's a chance that they could do some stuff to gash that Washington State Cougars defense. So, yeah, I'll take Utah State plus 850. Listen, Utah State has some ugly losses, right? The Temple game comes to mind. But they went to Laramie a couple weeks ago, right? And they got a win there. They threw for over 200 yards, zero in interceptions Laramie. in Laramie in late October. I love that. They're off a bye here. Why not Utah State also off a bye? Or, I'm sorry, Washington State also off a bye. But, damn it, man. Why not? This would be super smelly. It would be awesome for the show. I yeah, that would be fantastic. And obviously, like we said, we love Jake Dicker. We love Washington State. We, saw, we talked about them as a, a legit chance to make the playoffs this year. And then they lost to Boise State, which was tough. But, yeah, why not Spencer Peters, man? I would not have thought on the Dirty Dogs we would have been picking on Spencer Peters this year. But here we are, and he's been awesome. Year in the year 2024. So to recap for our Spotify listeners, uh, CD took Mississippi State plus 1,200 against Tennessee. I took Georgia Tech plus 380 against um, Miami there at home. CD then took Washington plus 425 against Penn State on the road. And then I took Utah State plus 850 on the road in Pullman against Washington State. So stay tuned. Uh, see if these actually, if any of these actually hit, which some of them have. So if you're if you're playing a team this week that's on this list, just, just watch out. We're averaging, I'm saying. we're averaging once a week, right? So we're averaging just, one out of four. watch out. Don't think you're safe just because you're Tennessee, you know, sitting there with a 24-point spread. 